Hey guys, so those of you that have been following the Linux news will probably have heard that uh, the second and final beta images of Ubuntu and the Ubuntu variant distributions have recently been released and I thought for today I might just stick Ubuntu Mate, one of my favourite of the variants, into a virtual machine and uh, see what's new. And for those of you looking for the cliff notes of this particular review, I can tell you that it's an incremental improvement over the uh, last release, uh, in the same way that that was an incremental improvement over the release before that, and so on. And I expect the next uh, version of Ubuntu Mate to be an incremental improvement on this one, because one of the things I really like about Ubuntu, uh, and specifically with Ubuntu Mate, is that the quality seems to be pretty steady and um, and and consistent I think uh, you don't get like short bursts of, of incredible amounts of development followed by a couple of years of slowdown it just seems to be that every release is just a little bit better than the last one a little bit better than the last one and to be honest that's all you really want so I was putting together or I'm currently putting together a video where I talk about which Linux distribution I'd recommend to to newcomers to Linux and a lot of it would of course depend on what type of person like not everyone that picks up Linux picks it up for the same reason but for the most part when people who are generally sort of regular computer users um, want Linux on, on a laptop maybe they got like a second hand laptop and their version of Windows doesn't doesn't work or whatever or it can't be transferred or whatever and they just want to stick an operating system on to use a web browser I gotta say, Ubuntu Mate is is that go-to distribution I tend to recommend. It works on every piece of hardware that I've ever tried it on. It's got a straightforward user interface, and you've got the option of a long-term support release, or you've got something a bit more up to date. And you know, I can rely on the stability for the most part, um, and I can generally sort of rely on it doing what what I need and what other people need out of a a distribution out of an operating system and it ticks all of those boxes and does so in the open source way that we've all come to love and adore so excellent um so i've got to say there's not actually too much uh, new to this i've been looking through the, the blog post um and it talks about uh, some of the improvements that they've made they are particularly fond of the mate calculator uh, which now replaces uh, calculator which is the gnome calculator but this is this is Mate Calc. Now I don't know why there is. I suppose is it is it because it's just a, it looks a little bit more of a traditional layout. But it's a calculator. It works. You've got um, oh you've got financial mode, programming. I've never needed a calculator for programming. Is that for binary or machine code or something? Um, and yep, it works. So if you want to find the square root of minus one, it gives no no that was the square root of one square root of minus one. It gives you an I. Excellent. I love that. I've never, I've, I've, I have never used a calculator where I've put that in, and that's been the, the, the it's given me the, the, the actual result because I is for those of you that don't know an imaginary number. Yeah, Google that. So, <laughs> um, uh, right. So I've also installed KeyPass. This is a Qt4 application, I believe. Yeah, Qt4.8.7. So that for those of you that wonder why I install Keypass X, it's not just because I use it and like it. It's because it's um, it, it well, it includes the Qt version in the about page, which helps, and um, and it gives me a good idea as to how Qt4 apps look on a GTK based environment. Uh, I have installed Caden Live, which is a Qt5 application, and it's a little. Um, there are a few sort of theming issues, but it's still a, like a workable. Um, uh, it's still a workable program. Uh, v, uh, Caden Live is notorious for uh, not working well in GTK environments. So as you, as you can see here, it, it's work. Uh, it's, it's usable. The 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 icons are a little bit there. Some of the text, you you know, you might want to either adjust a the theme. Fortunately enough, KDE. If you've got them installed, you can switch up themes within the application itself so that sort of mitigates the problem there um, but yeah I mean there are plenty of distributions that completely botch up Qt5 applications so it's nice to uh, nice to see that there uh, and a lot of these others uh, the, there is the brisk menu I can show you the brisk menu which is one of the newer ones uh, I gotta say it's uh, this is the the GNOME 2 desktop which I remember from when I first used Linux as my daily driver back in oh six now it wasn't the first time i ever used linux it's the first time i ever used it day in day out 
and that was one of the Fedora core distributions, I believe, and that had GNOME 2, and I remember just picking up and running with it so easily. There was some, some under the hood stuff that took me a while to learn, but when it came to just the UI and getting the basic stuff done, the GNOME 2 environment, even though it didn't look like Windows, it worked. And it worked well. And it, it, you know, it, it, I, I knew where the buttons go because the buttons went in a, like a logical order. So, you know, some people complain that the two bars takes up too much screen real estate, certainly on a, you know, one of those 16 by nine monitors um, that you're seeing, you know, you're seeing the, resolu- uh, the uh, aspect ratio for here. And I can certainly get behind that. Um, but yeah, like you in the Ubuntu Mate tweak, you can actually not only can you put the panels anywhere you want, but it gives you a few sort of layout ideas. So you've got Ubuntu Mate there, you've got Redmond, which just gives you the basic menu down there at the bottom. That works. That's a, I mean, a lot of people just want that, really. Um, you've also got Pantheon. Pantheon uses the brisk menu. So this is the brisk menu. Good old menu. Does the job. It's pretty snappy, actually. So I'll give that credit where it's due. And you can then... search for stuff. So there's a good solid menu there, and you've got places and systems. Good. It's not necessarily my chosen layout, particularly because some... no. Because I like um, a little bit of text to accompany the icons. Uh, So what I can do... There we go. Uh, Also, oh, uh, Cupertino? Is that how you use? Cupertino? That's also very similar as well. In fact, I kind of like the no menu like that a little bit better. Just maybe it's because of nostalgia or something. I don't know. Um, and then you've got uh, Fedora, which is basically very similar. But the Ubuntu Mate will suit me down to the ground. Also, there are new themes. Look and feel, appearance. So this is the standard um, ambient Mate theme. Looks good. It's, I, I feel like a little bit is that because so many other distributions and uh, have gone towards the flat theme, that non-flat themes might come across as being a little dated. But it looks good. I like it. Uh, you can also uh, change the specific... Could um, Was there not colour options? Um... Or is that with XFCE possible? I can't remember now. Anyway, it gives you uh, it gives you the uh, the ambient, the ra- and the radiant themes as well. Radiant Mate. That looks pretty good. That I feel looks a little nicer, maybe a little more polished, a little cleaner, a little bit. I don't know. And then they come they come with uh, a full dark variant as well. This looks nice. I like this as well. But I'm going to stick with the Mate for the same, the ambient Mate. I actually quite like this one as well. So there, yeah, so we've got that. Uh, also, uh, the Mate allows you to disable desktop icons because I think we, we it's it's 2017. We don't need desktop icons now. Um, I don't know what it being 2017 has anything to do with it, but there you go. Uh, so yeah, uh, Mate tweak, good as ever. Um, there is um, attempting to close the terminal has uh, as an active process that will request confirmation before, before proceeding. I like this actually. I have this is on Gwake. I use Gwake, the drop down terminal. And if you're if you terminate that as a process, um, so whilst you know if you terminate that mid process, it will it will confirm. It's like hang on a minute, I'm still doing this. Uh, do you want to? Uh, are you sure you want to go? And that's you know that saved my bacon a few times. So um, glad to see that one's in there. So for those of you wondering about Mate's version, this is the Mate Desktop Environment version 1.18.0. This is the first release that is full GTK3, and I uh, have gathered from from various posts on blogs and social media, etc., that the idea behind the 1.18 release is that it's you know there's a degree of seamlessness to it, and it certainly feels that way. There are a little you know there are a couple of hints that it's GTK3. There are some of the um, vestigial parts of GTK2 that have uh, that are no longer here. Uh, for those of you that know where to look for it, but other than that. Yeah, it's a, it's a solid GTK3 environment that actually runs in a really snappy way. Uh, also, as well, it gives you a choice of compositing. Four choices of compositing. 
as well, which I wish more distributions would do, e even if it was just in the, you know, advanced options or what have you. Um, so I'm certainly not covering, uh, or not going to be able to cover everything here. Um, but for the most part, if you are looking for, you know, the next step in Ubuntu Mate, this this is it. Um, and I got to say, it's one of my favorite distributions. Um, partly behind the sort of the you know with the work ethos behind it i i like ubuntu i think it's a great uh distribution i'm not a big fan of the the unity desktop so uh this this to me is a really good uh, happy medium and if i wanted anything less than cutting edge this would most likely be my distro of choice i think um and you know like with six monthly release um you're not that far away from 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 the cutting edge anyway really at most you're ever six months which is really not that that far i mean obviously it depends on your use case but because i do youtubey stuff and because i am uh, quite enthusiastic on the latest and greatest software i do tend to go with distributions that ship newer software but i gotta say when it comes to recommending linux to other people this tends to tends to find its way to the top of that list uh very very regularly and it's great to see this distribution go from strength to strength um i i struggle to find a bad thing to say about it which is great it's brilliant so yeah another fantastic distribution from the chaps at ubuntu mate thank you very much for that and i think that's about it for me today so um as always thank you very much for watching and until next time i've been chris Ware, and you've been awesome take care now